Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is um, it's a bisara, which is a very uh, traditional uh, Moroccan uh, winter soup dish and it's very common to like eat it in winter to like warm yourself up and all so uh let's just head to the kitchen and i'll show you how to do it what you need is 200 grams of this type of beans um one uh 100 gram of split peas uh a tomato and a red onion and a turnip these are optional some people uh completely omit them and that's totally fine about five cloves of garlic since this recipe calls for a lot of garlic salt as much as you want and about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper you can also omit that too and cumin and olive oil and these are just for the presentation slash garnishing as for the split peas these are the brand that we use and uh it's very found in carrefour right over here first thing you do is take the beans as well as the split peas and you wash them really well about three to four times and this is done so like it can release all the starches since we don't really want that because it will foam from the top if you don't clean out all the starches. So you repeat this step about two, three times or until like the water uh, just comes out clean. You take these, you put them on in the pot. We're using a clay one because I believe that that's like how it's typically done and it's also what makes it like it gives the flavor, it gives a certain flavor that's like very special. You can also actually omit the green display peas um, if you, if you don't want you put the beans in the pot. Uh, you don't really need to use a clay pot, we just like it best. And then you just add these. You don't have to finely chop them or anything because we will blend everything together. But like just cut them into like four pieces I think and that, that's fine. Next, you add in the garlic, as well as the spices. And lastly, water. And we need cold water for this. You need just enough water to like cover it so it cooks. And now you just leave it over medium heat for like, until it cooks, which will take approximately like an hour. And once it starts to foam up, you just carefully remove the foam uh, you can actually omit these like what you ex you actually need is the garlic but like you can remove the you can remove the onions and the tomatoes and all of that like this is uh, how we typically do it in the northern region as this is originally from the north uh, we just do it so like we can add more flavor and like those people who actually don't eat vegetables can actually get like eat vegetables without feeling it put it over medium heat and we let it cook which shall take like approximately an hour after you leave it for an hour you actually just have to keep watching it so it doesn't stick to the pot or burn or anything just continue to like stir it occasionally so once it starts boiling just gently remove the foam and every time it makes a foam just try to remove it just be gentle After we removed all the foam, uh, we just, uh, if now if you see that it has absorbed a lot of water, you can also add more water. But this time around, you have to add hot water. So now that it's cooked, this is what it should look like. Everything has like opened up. And um, now we just turn it off the heat so we can blend it since we need it to be a soup. And the reason we're blending it is because we have like the vegetables in there. So um, if you don't add in vegetables you can just like leave it this way and stir it and continue to mash it until it's soup uh it also depends on the texture you want uh if you want it to be runny you can add a little more water if you don't want it to be runny you can just let it absorb a little more and if you want it in the middle we want it like in between this is what you you just keep it this way so after we turned it off the heat this is what it should look like uh so now we're just going to blend it because we we need it to be uh this dish needs to be like rather soft and silky and smooth like a soup so we're just going to blend it and after that you ta you taste it just to check for the salt and also if you want it if you want it like chunky you can leave it as it is or if you want it a little more more smooth you just add a little bit of water we are most likely going to add about half a cup of water since we like it a little silkier Okay, so now that we've blended it and checked for the salt, uh, this came out thicker than our liking, so we're going to add about half a cup of water. 
uh, just to, to thin it out and then we put it over heat to, till it boil, boils. So we added the water and mixed it in so this is the kind of texture we want. Now we're just going to put it over heat till it boils and then we can serve it. Now we're just gonna let it boil and then we serve it and I'll show you the final look. Okay, so this is the final product. This is what it looks like. So for presentation, uh, this is why I told you to leave the cumin and olive oil at last because we need it for the presentation. You just drizzle a little bit, like just carefully. And you take a little bit of cumin and you sprinkle it and you can also add a little bit of chili this is what we call sudania so just drizzle it don't add a little don't add too much since it's spicy and just mix it around and you eat it and when serving it just if it'll be better if you can actually serve it in like a wooden uh, bowl and eat it with a wooden spoon it's also eaten with Moroccan bread so this is what the texture looks like and this is a medium texture so it's not too thin but it's not too thick thank you guys so much for watching remember if you like this kind of content please like share and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next video thanks for watching bye